I'm going to show you an easy way to take raw stock and precisely mill it to the dimensions and squareness all around. Welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you a trick that I learned from uh, Joe Pizinski. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly from Advanced Innovations. And I've got a card above to a link to his video. In his video, he covered how to do this with a manual machine. And what I'm doing, which is a little bit different, is showing you some additional abilities you can get with a CNC machine. Namely, his approach allows you to square things up uh, on all six sides. So the six sides are per perpendicular to each other and parallel to each other. But what I'm going to do, which you can do with a CNC machine, is take his technique and get precise dimensions right away. So I have a, let me grab the right one, I have a chunk of uh, aluminum, which is uh, two inches by three inches by six inches roughly, that I want to square up and mill to 150 millimeters by 75 millimeters by, it doesn't really matter too much in that direction. Let me take you to the machine and uh, show you the process. It's really easy and I love this technique and I'm going to use it uh, from now on. So what we're going to do is face it as well as cut all the way around, uh, not very deep down. These are sawn cut uh, edges right now, and so I don't worry, I have to worry about uh, cleaning up one of the edges. I can just uh, simply uh, pull off the edge here, as well as the top, to face this. And then f when I flip it, you'll see that I'm going to do it based on the parallels rather than the top. Okay, so now I'm going to close the door and then uh, do cycle start. And I'm going to be using a 3 8 inch end mill to surface this. People have asked me why I don't have a shell mill of some type. And the answer is because for this machine, for the automatic tool changer, I have not been able to find one. People have suggested different ones, but they're not compatible. I now have five surfaces that are square to each other. So I have the top here, and then I have the four sides that are milled down to about half an inch. What that means is I can flip this over now, and then deck the other side, and that will make the back side parallel to this surface. And then I can flip it up onto a single parallel onto you know, the surface back here, and then do it this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. So I'm going to flip it over now and do the back side. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up this, uh, these two edges again uh, with the hammer, and then I'll uh, bring it back in. So at this point I have uh, this parallel to the back, which means what I can do is I can pull this out and then I'll be able to put it on the side like this so it's touching here on one parallel. So what I'm going to do is remove one of the parallels Since I'm going to be using this to set the thickness of the material, I want to make sure that I get this as close as I can. All 
Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is down. It is, looks good. Okay, so now I have this set as uh, Z0. And I'm gonna put this back in here. And then I'm going to pick up uh, the back left. I don't feel any uh, transition between the two parts, uh, the, the side and the end melt part, so that means uh, I hit that spot on. So now I'm going to flip it over to the other side and uh, then it should be the uh, correct thickness. So now I need to pick up uh, here and here again, actually just here, and then I can uh, deck that off. Uh, because the height is still Z0 on the parallels. All right, it's all set to go again. Same program. Now uh, we get to the fun part, which is uh, turning this up on this edge. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to replace this with an even shorter parallel. And uh, this will allow me to use uh, more of the, uh, the jaw height. Since I put in a shorter parallel, I need to reset the uh, zero. So again, Z is always uh, based on the offset from the bed. Okay, now I can uh, put the material back in. So I'm going to put this uh, edge on the parallel, make sure that there's nothing there. And then the, this and this, which are both finished surfaces, will provide the, the vertical orientation. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of here and deburr it and then uh, take it to the workbench uh, with some calibers and uh, measure it. Okay, let me see how we did. So first I'll check the width. Not bad, it's supposed to be 75. And now let me check the, the length. Okay, so that's off by not much at all. It turned out uh, really nicely. So now I've got uh, a block of aluminum that is about two inches thick. Uh, a lot of this is gonna be melted away on the top here, but it's uh, 75 millimeters wide and 150 millimeters long. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed learning this technique from uh, Joe Pye. And 
being able to precisely uh, set the dimensions on stock. This is just so cool because I had struggled with the best way to do this before and this is a great technique uh, without having to you mill everything and leave room for a hat that you uh, cut off at the last minute. In this particular case, I'm going to be using most of the material. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. And if you do subscribe and you want to be notified of new episodes as they become available, click on the little bell next to the subscribe button below. See you next time.